this uh, camera position and the microphone. And I got a topic. And I'm hoping this this uh, this video shoot works out. But so I got this topic. Hey, uh, any of you guys that are out there ride a Sportster? Does anybody in the motorcycle community give you crap for riding a Sportster? Anybody think it? You know, they say things like, "Ah, oh, that's a girl's bike." You're too big for that bike. Why don't you ride a real bike like mine, like my soft tail or my touring bike? Um, I haven't got a lot of flack with this one. Again, I ride a 2013 Harley Davidson Sportster 72. about getting a Sportster. I love this one. Fun little thing. Fun little bike. Whole lot of fun. Small, light, nimble. Good power, good sound. Really simple in their design. You don't got bags, you don't got a passenger seat. You can add one. You can add bags, but it is just perfect for a solo ride out, having a good time. Now I can lane split in California and with my touring bike, I've got a 2015 Ultra Limited, uh, a big bike like that, you can still lane split, but you got to keep in mind the width and the girth of a bike that size. Uh, Sportster 72 and Sportsters like it, very thin narrow and able to get in between cars pretty easily. It's a really gorgeous day today. I'm out riding around in La Quinta, California. It's Sunday, January 13th. It's about 55 degrees, I'd, I'd hope, I'm not sure. It's a little chilly, but clear skies. Not a lot of traffic. Um, there will be in the afternoon or in the late morning with church traffic, but it's good to get out and get a ride in before traffic gets too heavy. solo bike 
for running around town. One thing you got to keep in mind if you're going to be riding around for more than an hour or so at speed, uh, this bike, along with this Forster 48, come with a two gallon tank and you're going to be you're going to be hitting the gas stations and here we are again so i'm going to cut out at this point thank you all for for joining me on this little ride